I'm not saying that I'm I'm in a position like that right now. So I have, I'm working. I'm working triple to to push Brandon right now. He came in at 152, 153, and then, you know we're, he's not struggling. He looks good. You know I'm sure he's hungry like every other fighter, but he's not drawing now like like I've seen fighters in the past that I worked with like Gabriel Rellas and Corrales and uh, and all of them. You know I mean it's so you know we got down. It was good. You know we he's been disciplined. He listens to me here and there. You know, he's a stubborn <laughs> fighter. But as long as he listens in the end, I'm, I'm happy. Brandon. He's the only guy, like, this motherfucker calls me when he's trying to run. He calls me, uh, how you feeling? He calls me, uh, he's just calling for everything, you know. He always calls me to check up on me. He's always calling me to see how I'm doing. He's always, and right when we get in the gym, so I know I have to come and wait small. Because every time I have to lose weight, because every time I come in the gym, I check your weight. We check the weight. If I'm heavier, you know, he's pissed. And he's mad. And fucking, it's a rude fucking, just, I don't want to hear it. So I fucking fuck. So I just come back the next day, try to come back smaller or the same weight or smaller, or, you know. So it's just, that's how it is. You know, and that's, that's what I need. That's what I need. But we had, we had a great team. We had David Bolin, who was one of our friends. Lisa, who's the chef, uh, that's been working with us, you know, and it's been amazing. Without David or without Lisa, you know, it's getting advices from them, what to feed him or what to cook for him, that would have been really hard. But you know, he's, he's, you know, he's a. I'm sure he has not out in the behind my back and eat some McDonald's and shit like that. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> which I, I found, you, which I found some receipts, you know. Uh, no, fuck that. <laughs> I have receipts. But honestly, right when that fight and when we first started, we were supposed to fight in July. They said we're not gonna fight. Blah blah blah. Whatever happened, I left the gym. I went to McDonald's. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I this this, to, this I is what to, this I is. I went to a. This is what happened. Yeah, we were at. Oh my God. We were at one. We were at one fifty eight. And they told him, no, he's not gonna fight anymore. That's when Victor pulled out. And then what happens, he came up to 168, 170. I'm like, what, how, Brandon? I went to IHOP that morning, I Same. gave me the biggest <laughs> fucking breakfast I could get there. I ate that bitch, and <laughs> came back, and I had to pay the consequence. How hard is it to lose that weight? It wasn't, at first it was hard because it was stuck. It was just a lot of something new on the menu, so I got it. And it was like a big old omelet. And it was just, so, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Nah, but we're, we're good now. Lisa and David had, uh, are the ones behind the scene. You know, a lot of people don't give credit to those kind of people. So yeah. I, I'll, I'll, bring, I'll bring him up because David has been my friend for nine years. Lisa I just met right now in camp. And uh, without them, Brandon being fed and what to eat, what vitamins he needs, it'll, it'll be a struggle. But you know, like anything, I, I take it back old school. Like, I, that's my mentality, like what Joe taught me. Just taking it back old school, you know? A lot of people get all kinds of trainers, all kinds of chefs, and in the end, it doesn't really work. Yeah. Uh, so right now, what I've been focusing with, with, with Brandon is, you know, I, a lot of people expect that I change his, the way he fights, and, and in reality, what made Brandon real is the way he fought, like the way Robert had trained him, and the way he fought. You know, so the, the, what I did with Brandon was mostly is just get him in shape, and continue what he does, put in pressure, and just this time is moving his head a little bit more footwork. And I'm not saying that he's gonna do that exactly same thing the day of the fight, because during the fight, everything changes. But he try, if he tries to make the effort to do that, I'll be happy. Just like yesterday, uh, he sparred really light, which normally I like still keeping him sparring light uh, the week before. Hey, quiet in the back, please. Uh, just keep keeping it uh, short with him sparring light or uh, so he could stay sharp just like baseball players do you know you you bat you do batting practice what we do is just sparring keep him sharp his eyes sharp so just without getting cut or in, any injuries and simple as that you know brand brandon brandon rio is going to be the same brandon rios i hope he he, he just performs the way he should and he, the way he fights that's it. Ricky, what's the tone like in the corner, you know, is it real like, uh, come on Brandon, or is it a lot more... I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm very calm in, the, in that corner with all my fighters. I do that with my nephew. I learned that, I learned that from Joe, just to be very calm, because if you start being a little bit nervous, then the corner... Hey guys, quiet in the back!
uh, with, with Brandon, uh, I'm very calm. I, I don't yell, I'm, I'm very calm. I'm very, I'm very soft. Uh, I'm very soft. In the corner, this is not the corner. I'm very soft spoken, you know, because if I start yelling, start getting, getting nervous, then he's gonna, gonna get, uh, what the fuck, what am I doing wrong, you know? That's chaos. Yeah, very calm, very, very soft spoken in there. Very simple instructions. I don't do do this, go out, do, I, I, very basic. I, I tell him what to do, the stuff that we've been practicing in the gym. You know, stick to the basics. You know, if I see that he's not using his jab, I'm gonna tell him to use his jab more often. You know, because everything follows up after the jab. Has that been the theme of the camp, you know, going back to the fundamentals? Very, since, the, since day one. You know, but he's a stubborn guy. He just likes to do his fight, but I have to keep reminding him over and over. Over and over, you know, it's, I, he's been with someone, another trainer for 18 years, and for me to try to, I'm not trying to change him. What I add is, like I told Brandon, I'm just trying to add a little bit more to his arsenal. Uh, so, simple as that, just very simple. Uh, there's nothing, you know, a lot of people, actually, uh, this was a while back, someone came to me and goes, hey man, you think you could train me like Floyd? Do the mid work like his uncle? I go, can you fight like Floyd? He goes, no. I go, what the, what's the, why, why am I gonna teach you that? With Brandon, I just do jab, right hand, hook, left to the body. The same thing, basic stuff that you're gonna use in the fight. Nothing to show him here, it's simple. All, he, all what Brandon is, just needs is just to stay in shape and be in shape for this fight. And believe it or not, he's in the best shape that I've seen him in, you know, since he's been with me. After yesterday's sparring, his footwork, his head movement, using his jab, his combination, I go, why can't you use that during the first, uh, when we started camp? <laughs> Why you have to use it now? You know, they have the mentality too, they save it for the day of the fight. Which is okay with save me. Saving. <laughs> save. <laughs> but other than that, Brandon has been, been fun with, you know, you guys, you guys know Brandon, he has no filter for anything. So, you don't give a shit. <laughs> See, I even said a bad word that I'm not supposed to be even saying, because of him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Producing one-on-one interviews, start with Univision, Spring TV, and uh, LA TV. Okay. 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 Okay